kwa Inter Mountain North Western Synod na Diocese ya Ulanga Kilombero. Na tuanze ibada hii katika jina la Mungu Baba, Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. Wapendwa katika Bwana sasa pokeni wote ondoleo la dhambi. Ngamo hili likiwa ni la kweli na mkitaka kwa moyo wote msamao wa dhambi kwa ajili yake Yesu Kristo basi kwa nguvu ya neno lake na kwa agizo la Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na watangazia ya kuwa Mungu kwa neema yake ametusamehe dhambi zetu zote kwa jina la Baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu amen amen
A reading from Isaiah 43, verses 1 through 3. But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, He who formed you, O Israel, Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Dear siblings in Christ, all sisters and brothers, grace to you and peace from our Lord Jesus. My name is Pastor James Allgard, and I serve from Grace Lutheran Church, Wenatchee, Washington. It's an honor to give you a message today from the Northwest Intermountain Synod. Technology helps us to nurture the faith of one another, to love and strengthen one another across the many miles. I'm grateful to God that we can be in worship together, even though we might use this worship service at different times. God bless you all, dear friends. You mean so much to us, and your friendship and love is felt here in our hearts. The passage from Isaiah helps us remember that God is present through the difficulties of life. God is present in spirit and in the lives of one another. This presence is the root and foundation of our faith. The Apostle Paul says, hope that is seen is not hope. We hope for what we cannot see. We wait for it with patience. Some years ago, our synods were able to partner together to begin to dream about a large assembly hall for the community of Tumaini School. Patience needed to be given to us all in large portions so we could see those dreams come to pass. The God of our ancestors and our grandchildren proved to be faithful to us, whether our prayers were weak or strong, weighed down by doubt or flying freely with praise. God has been constantly here reminding us that life is about to flourish in new ways for all of us. Now gatherings are happening there. Electricity is servicing the whole property and meals are shared out uh, from the shelter, sheltered from the weather. Praise God for the completion of this massive undertaking in a time when much of the world is crippled under a pandemic. We have felt threatened as our world has walked through fire. Our part of the country here in the Northwest Intermountain Synod is a place where the danger of fire is familiar to us every year. Communities in our synod, many of them small and with few resources, struggle to come back together and recover when fire sweeps through, taking property and sometimes life. There is often a question about what life might look like as people return. We have felt unstable as the global community has passed through waters. In remote parts of Tanzania, you know better than we what it means to pass through too much water. When the bridge has failed, when the road has washed away, when the ferry needs repair, there is sitting waiting, watching, and listening. Restoration will come in time, but there is some uncertainty. We live by faith together. Kuishi kwa imani. You, dear friends, can teach us the beautiful yet painful practices of sitting, waiting, watching, and listening. We are your students. God is faithful. Kuishi kwa imani.
for us in the Northwest Intermountain Synod, a very special word now is this word together. We are humbled and grateful that you call us friends and companions along this way. The end is glory and praise to our beautiful Savior Jesus Christ. God bless us all. God bless you, dear friends, as you continue to walk in faith toward the future that God has for you. Amen. A reading from 2 Corinthians 4, 16 through 18. So we do not lose heart, even though our outer nature is wasting away, our inner nature is being renewed day by day. For this slight momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all measure. Because we do not look at what can be seen, but at what cannot be seen. For what can be seen is temporary, but what cannot be seen is eternal. Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa majina yangu naitwa mchungaji Agatha Msomba mchungaji wa Dar es Salaam Kilombero jimbo la Kilombero shirika wa Kibelege kwa pamoja tushirikiane kuimba wimbo wa namba 369 Mungu niumbie imani Neno la Mungu linapatikana kutoka kitabu cha Wakorinto wa pili Wakorinto wa pili sula ile ya 4 sali wa 16 mpaka ule wa 18 maneno ya Mungu yanasema Kwa hiyo hatulegei bali japokuwa utu wetu wa nje unachakaa lakini utu wetu wa ndani unafanywa upya siku kwa siku maana dhiki yetu nyepesi Ilio ya muda mfupi tu ya tuandalia utukufu wa milele usilio kuwa mwingi sana tusiviangalie visivyoonekana bali visivyoonekana bali visivyoonekana kwa maana vinavyoonekana ni vya muda tu bali visivyoonekana ni vya milele amen kwenye hili somo tunajifunza safari ya maisha ya kiroho mbao ya mebebu wa nachomu imani. Tume Paulo anatukumbusha namna ya maisha ya kilo halivo na changamoto mbali mbali. Lakini pamoja na hizo changamoto tusilege wala kupata kumama. Hata kama mili yetu inachaka lakini mungu ataufanya utu wetu wadani upia imara zaidi. Sisi sote tumekua mashahidi wa maisha ya Yesu Kristo namna walivyo mpinga hata kufikia hatua ya kumuwa ili tu kupinga ile kweli aliyoileta 
Lakini asukuliwe Mungu aliyemfufua na akapaa na utu wake mpya. Ndivyo ilivyo hata kwetu. Tutakutana na mateso mengi. Lengo ni kuzimisha ile kweli ambayo tunayubingi. Lakini tujipe moyo Mungu hata tuwacha. Kikubwa tumuombe Mungu atuzidishie imani kama neno la Mungu linavyosema katika kitabu cha Ibrania wa Ibrania sura ya kumi, mstari wa 38 na unasema lakini mwenye haki wangu ataishi kwa imani naye atisita sita roho yangu haina furaha na mwandishi huyu pia anatukumbusha kuishi kwa imani basi Mungu wa mbinguni aendelee kutupa neema endelee kutupa baraka sasa na hata milele amen tuombe tunakushukuru Mungu asante kwa ajili ya neema yako tunakusihi Bwana endelea kutupa imani kama vile waandishi mbalimbali lakini pia hata mwimbaji wa huu wimbo wa namba 139 alikuwa ni maombi yake asi Mungu ni maombi yetu kwetu tusaidie Mungu kuishi kwa imani tunajua hapa duniani tunapita tu pana mji udumuo kwa utazamia huo mji Bwana tusaidie ufalme tusaidie jemedali mwamba wa uzima tunaombea na wenzetu wa sinodi ya malikani endelea kuachilia neema juu yao e Bwana lakini Mungu kikubwa zaidi endelea kuachilia moja na mshikamano kati ya diocese ya kwetu na hiyo sinodi ya malikani situache Mungu situkukie Usudi la umoja huu Bwana ni kujenga ule mwili wa Kristo. Asante Mungu kwa ajili ya viongozi wetu ya Dausi na Kilombero. Asante kwa ajili ya viongozi wetu wa Diocese ya Synod ya Marekani. Mungu endelea kuwatetea kila changamoto wanazokutana nazo. Yesu kawe mtetezi kwao. Kawe mtetezi mfalme. Asante Mungu kwa ajili ya haya yote tukiomba tunakushukuru. Amen.
God without borders or boundaries. We give great thanks for the bounty produced from your creation, for the richness of plants and food for our table, for the refreshing waters that keep us alive, for the beauty of birds and beasts, for the restoration of our spirits, for the continual flowing of grace from you. May we always remember the gift of your blessing, the blessing of us with your Son, Jesus Christ. O oh Lord, help us in our prayer. Hi, I'm Janet Boyer from Lenore, Idaho, and this is my grandson, Leslie Shoulder, and I'm from Nez Perce, Idaho. As we know, holy and most blessed God, as we gather together, together today, we are thankful for the organizers of this service, for the participants around the world, and for those who developed the technology making it all possible. While we are grateful for this com connection, we also remember those who have died and their loved ones who were unable to gather to celebrate them during this challenging time. We pray, pray for those who are sick and for those who care, care for them especially the staff at Lungala Lutheran Hospital. Grant them energy and compassion to do their work and strength to persevere. We, we welcome, welcome you into our hearts today that as you lead us on our way guide us with wise counsel and through the gift of your Holy Spirit may we rely on each other so that hope may flourish in your pre precious name Amen Jina langu ni Julia Hubbard na nili ishi Aringa Tanzania kwa miaka miwili katika elfu Mbili kuminatano mpaka kuminasaba. Na sasa ninafanya kazi ya Holden Village. Tu ombe. Mungu mwenyezi tunashukuru kwa mahusiano ya Sinodi Northwest Intermountain na diocese ya Ulanga Kilombero. From subalpine valleys to lush jungle mountain valleys, we celebrate the diversity of creation surrounding us. Kama mti unakuwa mrefu na ngovu, wakati kuna maji ya kutosha, we pray for all those in need within our community, that we may give of ourselves to be part of msitu wenye afya, like the kingdom of God, Ufaume wa mungu. 
Through times of trial, you are with us. Tuko pamoja. And so, may we take usajiri mzuri kuishi kwa imani in this creation with one another. Katika jina la Yesu Christo na ahadi ya uhusiano. Amin. God blessings to you. My name is Vicki Broden and I am a teacher in Colville, Washington. My prayer today is for teachers. In this extremely difficult year, we know we do all this through him who gives us strength. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Here's my prayer. Dear Lord, you said when two or three gather in your name, you will be there with them. Please be with us now in this blessed service. Fill us with your Holy Spirit that we may fulfill our calling as teachers. Give us strength and health to work the long hours. Give us patience to listen to those who hurt. Give us awareness to notice students who struggle. Give us creativity and wisdom to teach, heal, and inspire. Guide us to love others as you have loved us. Give us compassion to love those who hurt others. Mold us to be examples for our students to follow. And keep us humble by reminding us that what we do comes through the gifts that you have given us. We ask you in thy name. Amen. <laughs> Na mungu hakika tunaona wanabili kimiza uh, lile neno lako ambalo uo meagiza kwa kwa tupendani. Na upendo e baba unatimilika katika kujitoa. Kama wewe ulivyo mtoa mwanao Yesu Kristo ili afu kwa jiri ya dambi zetu. Ndiyo na hao wa nungu zetu wanabiotimisa kweli yako, wanabiotimisa neno lako. E baba wa minguni, tunawainua, tunawareka mikononi mwako. Ili zaidu kainarewe kwa umiria huo moyo wa upendo. Ambao ndiyo utimilifu wa neno lako la upendo. Zaidi ya yote e baba wa minguni. Tupe na sisi moyo wa unyekebu. Tunako kokea kila mbali kinatoka kwao. Ili zaidi e baba wa minguni. Tukainarewe kuzukusha, tukainarewe kuinua wewe. Hakika shima na Yesu Kristo wa tinaoma.
give thanks to God for our chance to worship together across oceans and mountains and rivers and seas. May we pray together that God use this time to continue to strengthen our relationships with God and with one another, that we continue to see one another as brothers and sisters, that we look forward to the time when we not only interact through video screens, but also that we are able to see one another face to face. And now, beloved of God, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.